Sailing's changed hugely in my lifetime. First time doing the America's Cup, we were doing 10 to 15 knots. Now we're doing 40 knots. I mean, that's a huge change. Welcome to the modern America's Cup. These guys just scalding. So with the speeds we're now traveling in the new age of the America's Cup, aerodynamics is a much more important factor. Drag is our enemy, and the faster we fly, the more drag we have. As members of the crew, we have a significant impact on the drag of the boat, which is why we're looking at aerodynamic performance gains that we can make from our sailing kit. Complicated package they have to have. There's a knife, there's body armor, there's flotation, and what we're trying to do is to optimize that as an aerodynamic package. The work we're doing here today is most similar to what the cycling teams do, where they're crucially interested in, in the texture of the clothing, the fit of the clothing. You can actually do real testing on real athletes in real wind. The Land Rover partnership really lets us push far beyond the boundaries that we could imagine if we were just a, an America's Cup team working in isolation. The America's Cup's won by marginal gains. It's whichever team puts the most of those small little jigsaw pieces together for the final picture. You know, this is another one of those little incremental steps to actually winning the cup and bringing the cup home.